hello beautiful people in today's recipe we are making egg sauce with boiled yam i have a tuba of yam here and i'm going to cut it into round shapes and i'll peel off the back and beside it is a bowl of water as i'm peeling off the back and dropping it right into the bowl of water this will help it not to change color and I'm cutting it to the shapes I want. You can cut any shapes or sizes you want. I transferred it back into the bowl of water so it doesn't turn pale. And I'll transfer this into my pot and top it up with water to be at the same level with the yam. And I'll cover and cook this on medium heat for about 10 minutes. And as we wait for the yam, let's go prep other ingredients we'll be using for this recipe. Here I have the onions. I use lots of onions for this recipe. I tried using the knife for my tomatoes but I resorted back to the vegetable cutter because it's faster for me and I'm in such a hurry. So what we are basically doing now is to prep all our ingredients so that when it's the cooking proper we'll just be mixing and mixing. We'll also blend some peppers into rough textures. Always use as much peppers as you can bear. And I have eggs here. In total, I used six eggs for this recipe. And we'll whisk these eggs in. Whisk it very well. This is about 10 minutes and the yam is boiling so well. I brought in the salt and covered it again. I didn't add salt from the beginning so that it would be easier to cook the yam. So I transferred the yam to another burner. And in my pan, I added in vegetable oil. I brought in the diced onions and some spring onions. And we'll give this a stir, we'll stir fry it for about 2 minutes for the onions to release its flavors into the oil. And I brought in the chopped tomatoes. We'll stir the onions and the tomatoes together for about 5 minutes. Let's go check on the yam. And this yam has cooked tender enough. We'll drain out the water and I'll still cover it with the lid so that it doesn't get cold. We are back to the onions and tomatoes. We'll stir this. This is about 5 minutes. I also brought in ground pepper and I brought in curry powder. I also brought in some seasoning and salt and we are going to mix this in properly. Mix it in completely. Now I have to check for the salt and seasoning. I always say that your salt and seasoning should be proportional to the quantity of food you're cooking. If you're not sure, you add in a little per time and adjust as you cook along. And I brought in the whisk eggs. And we are going to stir this mix it in so that it will have a sitting in the pan and we are going to cover this we'll cook this for three minutes and after three minutes this is what it looks like wow we also mix this in like turning it to the other side so that the other side of the egg will cook very well i told you this doesn't take time to cook and we're going to check for our salt and seasoning for the last time after we brought in the eggs and mine came out perfect go ahead and check yours to know if you need to adjust any and we are finishing up this recipe with spring onions stir it in if you've watched till those points please like and share my videos thank you so much let's go and serve our dish here i'm bringing in the yam it's still very hot because I closed the pot and it didn't lose moisture. And look at this, our egg sauce that is giving and giving and giving. Our boiled yam and egg sauce is ready. Come and join me. What do you think about this recipe? Will you be trying it out? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.